What's going on everyone? It's Andy Francis. It's Tuesday night and typically Tuesday nights mean we would have a bunch of NHL games, but because we got Thanksgiving Thursday, they rejumbled the week. They gave us a bunch of games Monday. They gave us a bunch of games Wednesday. So this week is a rather weird one. And on this particular Tuesday night, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is that I'm definitely feeling much better. Now I understand I still look like I just fought a wolf, but at least I'm at the point where I, I'm not scared to see you like, you know, Beauty and the Beast style. I don't look like a World War Z zombie that just got bitten. I'm like, grr, grr, like the blood just dripped into my eye and 28 weeks later, or is that 28 days? That was 28 days later. Yeah, remember that? When, when the blood drips in his eyes, it's like, grr, grr, grr. well, I don't feel like that bad anymore, as you can see. The, the mere fact that I just barked like that shows you that my energy levels are returning to form. The bad news is I kind of screwed you last night. I got to be honest, I didn't do a ton of research. I wasn't, you know, combing through pages. I uh, didn't have the juice to. But then another pot, we're going to end on a positive note. If you're a full Andy guy and you've been doing NFL, NHL, what a fantastic NFL Sunday, Monday. After going like eight for nine on Sunday, last night, we hit the Niners, we hit the over, we hit the Debo Samuel touchdown, we hit the Elijah Mitchell over on rushing yards, and we only missed that one Christian McCaffrey prop. So if you're a full Andy guy, or gal, there are a couple of you out there, you've had a good stretch. Now I'm gonna try to focus back on hockey here, especially going into tomorrow when there's the bigger slate, but I will make do with this Tuesday night slate, the two game slate. But before we get into those two games, just want to remind you, I've told you a couple different offers and promotions through the months going all the way back to playoffs. But this one is as guaranteed, and I'm not kidding, this is as guaranteed as money will be. Bet MGM. If you bet on a team $10 in the World Cup, if any team scores in the World Cup, you're getting credited with $200. They should really just name the promo, hey, here's $200, that's the promo. That's what it is. You bet $10 on a money line. Any team scores a goal in any game, you're getting $200 from BetMGM. So read the description in the video. It will give you the exact specifics and the location requirements, everything you need to know. And it will obviously provide the link that will take you there. And if you know I'm singing, you know I'm starting to feel better. But I do understand I still have slight zombie. <laughs> um, and looking at this first game, what is it? What is it? What is it, class, from what you've learned? Oh, yes, yes, two bad teams. When two bad teams play, I typically want to take the over. I don't know what something's preventing me from doing that. So what I did for this first one, I'm taking a rather unexciting same game parlay, which is going to include both teams scoring over one and a half goals, meaning both teams are going to get to two goals. Because while I still believe this is going to be an over, I'm always scared of the three to two or four to two where you just miss out on that six and a half over. So I actually feel more comfortable taking the both teams to score more than one and a half goals with my gut tells me the Sabres are going to win this. But as I told you last week, this isn't the original Sabres. We're getting to that point of the season where the bad teams are starting to show their color. Montreal's almost there. They're one game over 500. That They're going to start moonwalking way under 500 before you know it. So you got two bad teams. My gut's telling me the Sabres are going to win this one. Because I do think by the end of the season, the Sabres have a better record than Montreal, but we're still dealing with that early season Montreal where they have delusional hope that they can somehow stay competitive. I'm going to pair the over one and a half goals for each team with the Sabres plus one and a half. I know it's not sexy. I know it's not plus money, but for this game, it's really the only thing that I feel pretty comfortable with. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a plus money bet in the second game. All right, so just hold your horses. We're going to get there in a second. So for the first game, I'm going both teams over one and a half goals with the Buffalo Sabres puck line plus one and a half. Then we're looking at the Rangers versus the Kings, a matchup that's very near and dear to my heart because the LA Kings 
prevented the Rangers from winning the Stanley Cup back in 2014. And as an Islander fan, uh, we can't can't have them winning it any time before us. So thank you very much for that, uh, Los Angeles, especially because I lived there at the time. So it was even nicer for me. All right, relax, Ranger fans, relax. Look, I took you the other night. Take it easy. Hey, you want me to take you tonight? You want me to take you tonight? Fine. My pick for tonight is the Rangers puck line. It's the it's the parlay combo. Puck line plus one and a half with the under five and a half. Come on, Andy. Why? 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 Well, because they're having trouble scoring a little bit on this road trip. Usually they can rely on their power play to score a lot. This road trip, look at this. So all these games, every single game on this Rangers road trip, if you've taken Rangers plus one and a half with under five and a half, you've hit. So I'm going to continue that. I'm going to do that again tonight. Rangers plus one and a half with the under five and a half, and that will get you plus money to make up for the minus money that I gave you on the first game. And those are my two basic picks. Give me one more night of rest to get back to semi-normal. You'll see my hair again. <laughs> Imagine I was bald. Oh my God. If I ever went bald, it's the last you'll see of me. <sighs> That's a big fear. Can't be going bald. You know, when do you know when you're going to stop making it? I have a definitive answer. When I'm bald. Wait, what? What? Well, no, no, I don't do a five-year, eight-year, 10-year, 20-year. I'm bald, I'm out. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I will be back with you tomorrow. You know I'm feeling better if I'm asking you to subscribe to the channel. I know I didn't answer any of your DMs because, you know, it, it takes a little energy to re- oh, so, uh, uh. I wasn't feeling well. I'll get back to some of your DMs. I've left them unanswered or I've checked them. Maybe I've given you a double tap, but I needed to relax a little bit. But I'm clearly on the up and up now. I think by tomorrow, I think by tomorrow I'll be all right. But worst case scenario, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, so. If I want, I'll be lazy to the end of the week. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.